Hi everyone, this is Andrea from the Overstuffed Bookcase and today I want to talk about reading slumps. I am currently in the middle of a reading slump. I'm starting to come out of it, but I started thinking about how it really has nothing to do with the book that I'm reading right now. And I also started thinking about different types of reading slumps and how when I say reading slump, it might not be the same thing that you think of when you hear the word reading slump. So today I want to talk about three different types of reading slumps. I know there are probably plenty of different booktube videos about reading slumps. I know of one by Sarah Sunbeams. She did a really great job. She's much more creative than I am and a lot more of an actress than I am. And um, I'll leave a link to that one in the description. But today I just particularly wanted to talk about three different types of reading slumps that I know about and have experienced myself. Usually when I talk about book slumps, I am talking about that feeling where you just don't want to read at all. And like I said, it usually doesn't have anything to do with the book that I'm currently reading. Now, sometimes definitely I just don't want to read a particular book because I'm just not enjoying it. And so I kind of stop reading for a time because I just don't want to read that book. But usually that ends up in a DNF for me. So that's more like a reading slump for that particular book and not really a reading slump in general. So what I'm talking about is a reading slump where you just don't want to read. You just don't want to read anything. And a lot of times it seems like those are brought on from things that are going on in my life. Like the reading slump that I'm in right now, I got into an argument with a friend a couple weeks ago and that just took over my brain for a few days. I just couldn't think about anything else. And so I know that that definitely prolonged my reading slump. I don't think it actually started it, but it definitely prolonged it. And then I think also because I've been doing booktube and I've been really kind of really wanting to make more videos, even though I don't have that many ideas for videos right now. I just really have been wanting to make and edit videos recently. So I know that that has really not helped with my book slump. But so things like that can be reasons why I just don't feel in the mood to read at all. Like if I'm sick or on vacation or anything like that, there's just other things in real life that are going on that I'd much rather be doing. But then there's other times where I just don't feel like reading and it doesn't have anything to do with anything. I just don't feel like reading. The second type of book slump that I wanted to talk about is the kind where maybe you just read a really great book and you're kind of having a book hangover or maybe it has nothing to do with a book that you just read, but you just can't find the next book to read. You have tons of books on your shelves and you have this whole wonderful library to go to and you just can't find a book. You just don't know what book to read. You just, nothing is piquing your interest and you just don't know what to do. I don't really get this type of reading slump as often as I do the first type of reading slump simply because I'm a really slow reader and I don't have that much time to read to begin with. So I really have to stick with a schedule when it comes to my reading. So I have to make sure that I have a book read in time for my book club, or I have to make sure that I have the book read before I take it back to the library, or I have to make sure that I have a book read before I have a review up for a specific day. So I really just don't have this slump as often as the first one, but I definitely have had plenty of times where I just cannot pick a book to read. Nothing sounds good. I don't know what to read. And that is definitely a real slump and it happens to the best of us. The third type of slump that I wanted to talk about today is that one when you're actually reading, you want to read, but every book that you read is just not great. In this situation, it usually is the book's fault or maybe not the book's fault, but it definitely is because of the book that you're in this kind of a slump. So you're reading and then it turns out it's just a book that you don't click with or it's just really not a great book. And then the next book you read is not so great. And then the next book you read is not so great. And then you start to think, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm being overly critical. 
Maybe I'm just extra snarky these days or in a bad mood. And maybe if I read the book at a different time in my life, maybe I would think differently about it. But nobody's got time for that. So you just go with your original assessment. But you just have this string of books that are just two and three star reviews or DNFs or whatever it is that you just don't enjoy. And you just really want a great book to bring you out of it, to make you fangirl and feel all the feelings and just get out of that meh that you've been in for so long. Stay hydrated, kids. So those are the three types of reading slumps that I have personally suffered through. And I know there's probably plenty of other ones, but I haven't really thought of any different ones. I know there's totally multiple, many ways and many reasons why people get into book slumps. But I feel like what I've discussed today is three distinct types because the first one is where you just don't feel like reading. The second one, you do feel like reading, but you just don't know what to read. And then the third one, you do feel like reading, but everything you're reading is just not clicking. It's not working. I know a lot of people want to know some kind of way or tip or trick to get out of a reading slump. And I know for me, it's just usually time. I just usually have to write it out. I know that over time I will feel like reading again, or I'll find that book that piques my interest, or I will get out of that two and three star slump and I'll find that five star book that I just love and I'll get out of the rut. It just takes time. So like for the current reading slump that I'm in, since it's that first type, I know that either I just have to make myself read and hope that the book I'm currently reading, which I'm actually enjoying, will help me come out of that slump, or I just have to ignore it and just do other things, just watch Netflix or hang out with my family or clean the house, do whatever it takes to just have that time pass. But I know that no matter what happens, eventually I will get back to that point where I want to do nothing but read. So thanks to everyone for watching my video and let me know in the comments what kind of reading slump you usually suffer from or if you know any other type of reading slump that you've encountered or have heard of. And I'll talk to you later.